Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, uh, click subscribe to the channel. We talk a lot about commodities and commodity investing. Give me a thumb up if you like this content and leave comments below. Today I'm going to be charting, uh, technical charting, a lot of subscriber, uh, I I'll say picks or comments left that people wanted me to chart and I'm going to chart a lot of this stuff. Some of these look exceptionally good. Others look like they might be rolling over and might have some problems. So um, I'll show you what I've got. It's a lot of oil. It's a lot of uh, gold and silver, some uranium. Uh, there's a bunch mixed in here that people wanted to see. So and I wanted to chart this for everyone so they can see it. So let's jump in here. I call this technical charting. And we all want to find, we want to find that cheetahs in full cheetah mode. I've got a cheetah here. And look at that thing, look at that thing go. I like the, the grass behind it, like it's it's leaving a little uh, roost of grass. Uh, but that thing looks like it's hauling, hauling pretty good. So first I'm gonna start with the XAU to gold ratio. Someone asked me to chart this. And I think it looks absolutely excellent. I think it looks excellent, excellent. Like I haven't seen this in a while. And you, you draw it down through here, it broke this. But see how these lows are coming up? It's higher lows. We broke this downtrend. We've got, so step one is breaking the downtrend. Step two is to have a higher low. Step three is to break this guy right here. And then you have a new uptrend. And if you look, we've been in this downtrend since I would say 1995, 1995, 96, somewhere in that range, maybe 97. We're coming on down, coming on down in this big old bear market. We're bottoming here, guys. This is looking fantastic. And XAU is comprised mainly of larger uh, gold mining companies. So uh, this thing is looking absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. And I do in my 401k have a very large overweighting uh, to, uh, it's called EKWAX, EKWAX. It's a mutual fund in gold and silver which is very similar to XAU, I believe. Uh, a lot of the companies overlap. They do have some royalty companies in it. Uh, and I'm very much overweight. And if this thing breaks here, right here, <laughs> this is going to be, it's going to be very, very nice to see XAU outperforming gold. Here's another chart. It's a little bit more zoomed in. It's still uh, pretty far back, but you can see this downtrend's broken and we're coming on up. And we got to break this guy right here. We're right there. When this thing breaks, I think we're going to see a big move to the upside. I'm not exactly sure how high gold's going to go. It's, I think it's going to go very high. And I think XAU is going to compress against the gold price. So I think that's a, it's a good opportunity here. So good, good find, uh, a good question. Another one, GDXJ. How does that thing look? Or GDX, sorry. This is GDX. You can see we're, we're coming up in this. Up, upward uh, pattern here and we're just bleeding off very slow in this downward channel we've got a support line here that we're right about at and we have another large support line uptrend line coming right through here so i think we're going to bottom somewhere in this range very soon and i think that's also why i'm starting to see a lot of these big mining companies uh starting to show relative strength in relationship to gold itself we're starting to see bigger up days and a momentum shift in the larger gold mining companies. So this is looking pretty good. I think we've got a lot of support here. Uh, we just need gold to turn around. And when gold turns around, I think these are gonna be, they're gonna be rocket ships. They're gonna be very good investments. Uh, here's GDX on a little bit different time scale on a weekly basis. So we broke this downtrend here. We came up, this was the bottom of the bottom was 2016. Came up, hit its head on its this this uh, downtrend line, came across, broke out of the trend line, and now we're going up with this like kind of mega inverted not inverted but a big large megaphone pattern at a steep angle. And I think if we we might get some support right here on this trend line, and then head all the way back up to the top of this uh, megaphone pattern, or if we break out to the top side of this megaphone pattern which then would break this all-time uh, all high, you're moving pretty good at that point. 
if we get there. Here's GDXJ. Uh, this is another one that somebody wanted me to uh, chart out. This is a weekly chart over many years. We've got a downtrend line. We came up, hit our head on it, was hugging the top side of the rail, broke out, hitting this, creating this bottom trend line now, and we're just coming on up. There could be some good support right very close below it here if you were to draw another trend line through here. So I think we're getting close. We just need gold to move higher. That's all, that's all we need. And these things look fantastic continued to continue to the upside. GDXJ, another one. This is the daily chart looking in. This is the support line going across. And we're just kind of meandering sideways right now. And I think we'll probably find support here very soon with a bunch of buyers and sellers right here. So it's looking pretty good. You can see that we bounced off this trend line here on the upside. We've got SILJ, another one that somebody wanted me to chart out. We've got this huge megaphone pattern here. And we didn't break the top side of it, so we're just kind of hugging the top side right now. In this channel, this is the lower end of the channel and the upper end of the channel, which is also the megaphone pattern. We'll see where this thing goes. I don't want to break out to the downside, but we're coming down here. We're kind of hanging out. I'd like to see this thing move on up. This is SILJ again. Uh, Looking at it from a weekly perspective, a very big picture view, we've got a large trend line coming through here, and we're just we're, we're sitting and bouncing our head off this, trying to break through. When it breaks this large trend line, this is many many years, you know, over a decade, or about no, a little less than a decade. Um, we could see a large move to the upside, very large when it, when we break this. Here is Trillion Energy International. I know someone made comments on it. Look at the volume over here. Holy moly, that's a lot of volume. We've got the downtrend line. We broke the downtrend line and it's looking fantastic. So it's a very good one. Africa Oil. Again, look at this. We got the trend line here. This is a big picture view from 2017 all the way to 2021. Looks like we're trying to break out here. If we break this, I think we're going to move. So I think it's going to look really good. And if we work our way up and we get kind of in this two and a half dollar range and we start coming up, there isn't much resistance through this area here. So I think we could easily hit six dollars, five and a half dollars, something like that. Uh, pretty quick. Denison Mines. It's looking OK. I know somebody wanted me to chart this thing. Uh, we're above the 50 day. We came down, popped up. Still some sellers here. We got the wick on the bottom. I still think we might have a little bit more, you know, sideways movement before we move on up and maybe some contractions of the candlesticks. So that's looking okay. Deep yellow is looking pretty good. Came down, popped up, came back, and we're kind of grinding sideways. We have a, a wick on the bottom here. We're right at the 50 day. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. Now here's a rig, Transocean. This is a Deep sea, or not really deep sea, but a drilling company. They've got a bunch of different, um, we'll call it drilling for oil in water. And this is the big weekly chart. We've got a downtrend here, and we're right there at that downtrend. Most likely going to try to break through this thing. If it breaks through it, I think it's going to look very, very, very good. CDEV, and just to show you what happens when things do break downward um, downward trend lines, we broke out and this thing is flying. We broke out at like a dollar seventy five, and now we're at five bucks already. Can this pull back? Sure, it can. It could pull back, but I'm just showing you big moves happen after chart breaks. Uh, this is Callan Petroleum. I was getting pretty bullish at sixteen dollars down here. This is when I released it to a lot of the channel members saying, hey, look, Cal is part of our cheetahs. Uh, I broke its downtrend and is flying on up. It was up 50% last week. Pretty big move. Uh, is it still going to continue its move? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, XLE, this was someone that they wanted me to chart. Large chart pattern broke to the downside and got absolutely killed. Came back up, came back down, and now it's it's really moved fast on the upside because it was so underpriced and we're right there at the bottom trend line I'm going to try to break through this here shortly here's oih again we got just absolutely decimated to the downside here but it still has a lot of room to move on up and i'd say it could move all the way up to about 375 ish 
350, 375, somewhere in this range where it's going to meet some, some pretty good resistance. So that's looking really good. URNM, I still think it may need a little bit more time. It might have another down week or two before it moves on up. But the good thing that I want to show you here, I mean, look at the volume. Holy crap. Uh, the good thing I want to show you is see these big up days and then the pullbacks are smaller. Big up days and then the small pullback. That is a signature trait of a very strong uh, upward market. You can see that even in here. It looks super strong. So very good. Uh, so URNM looks excellent. Now our, our Kana Corp, I know somebody wanted me to chart this. This one's looking a little bit weaker. You can tell this thing's rolling over. Watch the highs here. You've got a high, you have a lower high, and then all of a sudden it's starting to lose. We've got some bearish engulfings at the end here. And then we got some sell-offs. So I'd be careful here. Uh, I wouldn't be dumping in. I'd, I'd be watching it. Kirkland Lake. Someone wanted me to chart this guy out. You can see the trend line here. We're right there at the trend line. A little bit of support. Be careful when this thing, if this thing breaks to the downside. Uh, but it doesn't look too bad. I wouldn't necessarily sell it. Uh, I just hold on. So uh, the one that's got me the most excited out of out of these are the two oil companies. Trillion Energy looks really good. Uh, Africa Oil looks really good. Uh, I'm actually going to take positions in those um, small positions. I don't have much money left. Uh, it all went into uh, Callum Petroleum, Centennial Development, SM Energy, uh, uh, Contango Oil and Gas, Tellurian. It, I loaded up on those uh, when they were cheap, Grand Tierra Energy. Um, so I went into those pretty big. And, and I would say the, the best looking chart for a very long-term perspective chart is that XAU to gold ratio. Uh, XAU, if it can break out to the upside and gold regains its footing to move to the upside, XAU could absolutely rip it if it turns, puts in this bottom that I'm about to see that right here in the background. I mean, if that thing breaks to the upside, we have a new, newly established uptrend. And if we can break that big long term, long term downtrend, man, that's going to be, I mean, this is going to be big. <laughs> this is because this could be a very, very big move in XAU. Uh, but it's going to take some time. It may even take a couple of years for it to break uh, or or months, however long it's going to take. Uh, but I, that one is looking very good. And I have some money uh, positioned for a move in the, the larger mining companies because they've been so dead for so long that the money has really exited it. And I think it's starting to come back in. Let me know if you guys like this content. Um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, Leave comments below, ride this bull market up with this community. Uh, I think we're pretty relaxed and uh, ask all the questions you can because I can do videos on whatever it is. Uh, some of these, you know, you're, you're bringing up all these opportunities. And when you guys say, hey, look, look at this, this company, I usually do a quick look at it real quick. It may take some time to chart all this stuff out for you, but it also gives opportunities to myself and to others on the on, on the, uh, we'll call it in the community and on this channel, uh, it gives them uh, something to look at and potentially partake in. So thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.